hello viewers welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how to trade with candlestick psychology so you are requested to stay with me till an end without skip oh before going to start i have a request please subscribe the channel by click the button if you didn't subscribe yet and thank you all who have already subscribed hello traders i am again here with another video so let's begin to trade this is in the dsd otc market okay okay i'm going with sellers okay i have placed a lawyer option here because uh candle close at the sellers this is a sellers area you, you can see this is a sellers area whole area is a sellers area candle close at the area and previous candle has sellers entry too okay it means this time candle will close it can have rejection from below but uh, it it it's supposed to be a uh, like bearish candle here okay so still seven seconds okay seller entry now i'm going with buyers okay, i have placed here higher option because uh, i can see here see market movement there is no new high even it back before hitting this level but this time there is no new high too and that's the reason see there has gap okay and here also gap and market trying and another main thing is market got reject from round number it means maybe sellers will enter uh, from this round number but still market didn't uh, reach this level okay that's what i want to go with buyers okay now it hit this level but i cannot go with sellers even because uh, momentum there so here i can see strong downtrend major trend is a down and minor also down here but this is confusion candle i'll play straight later there so okay i could have placed here higher option okay no problem So I will not place trade in every candle. Uh, rather than I will wait for few minutes and we'll look for good opportunity here. Okay, this is a level. This is a level buyer's entry point. Okay, so I'm going with buyers because candle close at the buyer's entry point and another thing is this candle has buyer's entry even this candle has a new high and buyer's entry too okay and candle close at the buyer's area buyer's entry point so i can expect bullish candle at least for one minute okay but there is no buyers i don't know and this is otc market sometime it can happen but in this area uh, always i should place uh, higher option see this is a important area because both buyers and sellers are uh, test this area even several times so see here also you can see it test it means this is a significant area okay so okay i have lost this trade again i have placed here higher option <coughs> sorry so I have lost this trade and this is my recovery trade for this trade uh, and uh, this time candle will uh, made a bullish candle like this like this it can have some weeks even there can some week but it will uh, it will close as a bu uh, bullish candle okay 
I have lost this trade and the, uh, this is not my fault. It can happen sometimes and maybe this uh, this is because of uh, momentum but this momentum also not strong so i should follow only uh, buyers because of that area but sometime it uh, maybe uh, 10 to 20 percent time you will uh, face some losses but 80 percent time you will face a uh, winning trade okay so this is winning trade see now buyers enter Again, I can go with buyers, but I'm not placed trade here anymore because already recovered. So, okay, here. No, no, no I will I'll wait for next candle here. I could have go with buyers, but when I saw green candle red candle again green again there can be red but in this situation i don't want to go with uh, red candle and to go with only blue candle that's what i want to wait so here okay Okay, here I am to go with buyers. I have placed higher option, though this is not uh, sure. This is risky trade because of this uh, this seller's entry. Because of uh, this seller's entry. Okay, again seller's entry. Again, there there are some seller's entry, but as soon as uh, I saw this is a round number and it's holding this market and uh, there i can see strong bullish candle okay it means this candle i can expect uh, uh, like bullish if, even even if if the candle is uh, like dozy dozy still uh, i will win this trade because of my entry point so let's wait this is very strong candle okay so I'll try to place one or two trade maximum. I have placed total five out of five. I have on loss. Okay. See this. This was the formation. There, there. Uh, red candle. I would have go with uh, buyers in this candle, but. When I saw this, uh, uh, this formation uh, is not working here. That's what I was waiting. Okay, and there, there is a gap, gap up too in this candle because of this rejection. Okay. Now see, this was a retrace candle and market following downtrend here. Okay, no problem. Let this wait. Trying to make an uptrend. So all the market are in same condition. Okay, this is a level. I can see bias entry point. This is a level actually. So, let me try to place on trade here. Okay, I'm going with sellers. I have placed here lower option because uh, I saw a strong seller sentry uh, end of the moment at the scandal. It means uh, uh, sellers will try to break this level and this is a strong momentum too. Okay, that's what I want to follow sellers here. And this is my last trade. If I win this trade, I will stop trading. If I lose, then I will uh, recover these losses.
If I lost, then I'll place uh, one or two more trade. If I win, then this is my last trading. So by this way, you can analyze this market, even uh, OTC market, you can get some winning trade, but you should uh, wait for proper moment and don't try to play with every candle until you are uh, con enough confident. Okay, so total, I have placed six trade out of six. I have one uh, five trade. This is my losing trade is still, this is not my fault. Sometime it can happen, like uh, maximum 20% time you will face these losses, but 80% time you will win this uh, trade if you uh, follow this uh, this rules here. So uh, let me. Uh, oh, okay. Here I have placed only one dollar trade. Okay. Okay. Still, uh, I'll I'll uh, I'll not try to place new trade because uh, I supposed to place only five trade, but I have placed six because of these losses. So by this way, you can analyze uh, market and place trade and don't uh, hurry while trading and don't try to play with every candle. Uh, it will give you bad result. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new in the channel. Please make a thumbs up if you like this video and share the video with your friends. Thank you.